All right, next up tonight, OPG Platinum, eight box case number two. Drafted teams this time. There's your draft. Uh, bottom four picks? No. Wait, how does that work? One, two, three, four. One. Because there's 31 spots, but there was 26 by five, five picks. One, two, three, four, five. No. Yeah, five. Bottom five got two teams each. That's right, I think. Anyway. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I just opened the boxes. I'm just telling Todd. Time for some rainbows and Arctic, what is it, Arctic Freeze, Arctic Blast, I know. I've already texted Todd twice today about things that broke, it never ends. Don't ever get a website. Hire Red Raider. He's he'll never make any mistakes. I had a hard time doing the default draft for this because I looked at what you guys bid on all the teams, and then I looked at like other places what they're selling for, and they were totally different. So I was like, I don't really know. And then I remembered, well, you can just rank the draft however you want. So, and if you don't rank it, it's kind of like a random. <clears throat> you just get whatever you get. David Krejci, Violet Pixels. Those are not numbered. What if we did a 10 case OPG Platinum auction by player? What, how much? How much under cost? What percentage of cost do you think I would raise? We have Casey Middlestat, marquee rookie, number to 199. I'm thinking 25%, but it would be fun, wouldn't it? What's that? If I posted a 10 case OPG Platinum player auction. <laughs> it would be fun. Yeah, I did auction Platinum. Man, Hippie, you missed all of it. You were gone. I didn't even know. Bars all future is now. Oh, there's a Keith Yandel. Orange checkers to 25. Yeah, maybe half. Boy, you said you're getting the second one. I have not yet. Really? I'm oh. Starting to hit the wall. Anthony Sorelli is the first autograph. That's a decent one. Oh, you know what it is? JG. I wonder what it is. I haven't had a soda. Oh, yeah, go I get you a soda. I haven't had caffeine all day today. But I'll get one. Sabathia Fielding. <laughs> he just threw it yeah. into the ground. Uh. You could do player breaks because every player, like OPG Platinum is kind of about the, you know, all these and mm -hmm. even the vets have every color. Mm -hmm. Carlson. I mean, I don't know how much someone would bid on a Jonathan Druin spot. Well, but you could do all the rookies and then... Yeah. Teens or something. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. Vet teens or... Something. It'd be kind of fun. We should try that for uh, the Stanley Cup Finals, some kind of weird player... Hockey auction. But imagine having to sort too if we had to sort the entire checklist. Yeah. If you didn't do the vets by team. Nolan Patrick Rainbow.
Ryan O'Reilly, rainbow, middle stat. Val Cole for the Islanders. Jibs, number to 149. SP Authentic got pushed. Wait, is um, Ingrain supposed to come out next week still? I saw it on my thing, but I don't know. Upper deck release dates are so impossible. You never know until like the week it's coming out. They don't send any kind of updates to any release dates. I don't even know how anyone knows. They're not anywhere. I'll have to call my distributor and be like, oh, that's this day now. I'm like, how does anyone know that? There's no information. Any Malkin Rainbow? John Gillies autograph, marquee rookie. Boba Fett me. I thought Gillies was a rookie like two years ago. Yeah, 17, 18. This is, a, this is a last year's. Weird. That is weird. What is the deal? Oh, nice throw. What's the deal with last year's cards being in this year's product? Oh, they're doing no redemptions this year in Upper Deck, too, remember? Oh, really? All Upper Deck? I think, like, there hasn't been a redemption in Upper Deck. Is that still true? Brock Besser future is now. The future is now. Doesn't really make sense. Wenberg, Violet Pixels. Dang, two cases, Hippie? William Carlson. For the Golden Knights. Ryan McDonough. Cook Kaniemi, rookie. Rasmussen. Oh, another error. Jeez. The Yankees are kicking the ball over the field. Luke Voigt. 20 releases with no redemptions. Buknovich. Miku, rookie rainbow. 10. Pedersen, rookie, right there. Dalian rookie. I don't know if that was so much Clint Frazier's throw or the guy running from third was extremely slow. Martin Brodeur for the Devils. Red, red prism. No wonder he knows. Oh, William Nylander to 25. Random Sean. That's cool. Look at that black. Yeah, it was their catcher. God, hold on. Did you bring a tree in here or something? Yeah. Oh, that's my new pollen based cologne. <laughs> yeah. Ice on 5 1 is the next one. I thought Ingrain was supposed to be next week, 424. Oh well, we got enough releases next week. John Tavares, Red Prism. 199. I love Ice, it's so fun. Ice would be a good auction-y one too. Well, I bet actually this is the best one to do pulling for. All the color. Warren Fogloy. Isn't that the guy? Beantown Bees. Oh, you made it in the break, Beantown Bees. I 
How do you say his name? This guy? Yeah. I, Beaujolais is in Beaujolais. That's my guess. That's but. probably right. Omni's better at hockey names. Miko Koivu. I, Violet Pixels. That definitely is not a, an ironclad answer, but... No, that's as good as I can, good guess as I could have. Yulson Marquee Rookie Rainbow. Fogel? Really? Fashion Nassau. It's just Fogel, like Jared Fogel? Oh. I guess his first name is Warren. Warren Fogel. I like mine better. Fogel -le -le -le. I guess I just assume that anyone who, that has a name that looks even a tiny bit French is Canadian and it's pronounced French. Chris Letang. The over-under is one and a half threes? That seems really low. For who? Westbrook tonight in the playoff game. Well, that's what? 18, 20 attempts? <laughs> yeah. To make two. Chalowski. Man, I want to keep an eye on that because I would think it would be... I bet he gets four or five. He's going to shoot at least 12. I don't think that's a lot, actually. <laughs> that's a lot of three-point attempts. He'll shoot 12, I bet. If he makes a couple early? Yeah. Mario Lemieux. What time's that game start, Harp? What time's the stress starting? In like eight minutes? Oh, yeah. I wonder if he must play it. Yeah, you got too much to do. You got Bucks and Dodgers and Dodgers Brewers. Brewers again. Man, we haven't had any. Uh, there's an Eichel. We haven't had any of the Frost. Gatorade Frost. That was 6.35 our time. Lucic. The Oilers to 25. Steel pen. Fogel, I know. After the whole Jared situation, I think I'd be telling people it was. Oh, no, it's Fogel. Oh, that's not Fogel. Uh oh, it's Maximi LaJoy. What was it? They said it was LaJoy. LaJoy. Well, but fat me. Like I said, maybe Maxine. I'm leaning too hard on my... I just assume that all the French names are pronounced like super French. Red Rainbow. Super French. Super French. I love the Opechee Platinum models. They look so good. Like yeah, I really one. like the retro yeah. ones. The Burin Kit. Maki, Rainbow. Leon <laughs> That's okay. your name. Yeah. Omni. 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 I have a lot of French Canadian ancestry, apparently. Not the name, though. Oh, yeah. Jibs, if you go to the. Um, in your email, there's like a new user guide link, and then there's a frequently asked questions on the site too. Um, I think that has all that, and then, uh, but basically, the quick answer is we ship every Tuesday all the breaks from the entire week. So, 
your break will ship Tuesday and you'll get an email with the tracking number. That's the simple answer. Come toi. Come toi. Yeah, next they're going to tell me that's come toys. Yeah. Pedersen, rookie. Papua. Great, now I'm going to get French people on YouTube. I used to watch your videos until you started making fun of French people. Jonathan Dreen, I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm trying to do it for real. There's one of those Gatorade Frost Arctic Freeze. Yeah, my grandma's maiden name is Lachance. Hmm. Yeah, totally French. But some of them pronounce it Lachance. You know, it is like people come over and then spend 100 years here. And... Louis Erickson for the Canucks. Seismic Gold. Boba Fett me. I think that's what Jibs is asking about the I mean he could be asking about like the actual shipping process. <laughs> but I don't know the answer to that. I mean I know we put him in a yeah. box and then we give it to or if he's maybe wondering, like, what's shipping day like at CSB? What's your, what's your process? Yeah. Zach Parise. 199. He's like, how the heck does USPS pick up something somewhere and then get it to me? <clears throat> Just a general shipping question. Nothing to do with these breaks. I'm just checking if Jibs has a sense of humor or not. So far, there's no, no response, so probably he doesn't. Maybe he ran to the page you told him to go to. Yeah. Brock Besser. How ships work. Oh, we have a Brad Marchand in action autograph. Those are cool. Hmm. Brunasty or Bruins? Yeah, I mean, the, the frequently asked questions won't really... Frequently asked questions doesn't have more details. It's just, if you have any other, you know, maybe you'll find something else on there that you're like, oh, okay, cool, I didn't know any of that or whatever. It's 100 pages long, so I would recommend printing it at work and creating a book out of it. and Study that up. Yeah, study over the weekend. Marner. It's always a test for the new people if they, you know, if a regular person gets a break and asks a perfectly reasonable innocent question and gets teased, they might be like, oh, okay, I'm never yeah, break, never buying anything from this guy ever again. And then, like, if it's Harp, he's like, oh, I like this guy. He's a jerk. This is fun. This is my kind of place. Oops. Bobby Orr. Harper's like, oh, there's some real joshing that goes around in this room. I think I'm going to stay. I found my breaking group. I think that's better than pretending to be nice. Or, you know, not, not pretending. I mean, I'm nice, but, you know. Mm. <laughs> I'm just going to be who I really am. So that way, you guys, if you like it, then, you know, you're never going to be surprised. No one in this group is going to be like, man, I thought Sam was like super nice and like helpful, but turns out that was all just an act and he's really a jerk. No one will ever say that. They'll just be like, he's a jerk from day one, and I'm fine with it. It's a real goof troop here. Nolan Patrick, Boba Fett me, Arctic Freeze. That's a good lesson for everyone in life. Just be who you really are. I mean, unless who you really are is not working, then maybe change. 
Change to something that works better for you, if possible. Don't be fake, though. Wenberg. You know what? You've inspired me. It's yep. time to drop the facade. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hate this place. <laughs> that was a good act you had going for the last seven months. I had no idea. Of course, the other side of that is if I act like that, then you guys get to tease me when I make mistakes, which you do. I take my share of teasing. Jupe calls me an idiot like every other night. I take it. Take it like a man. Spencer Fu. That's a nice looking autograph. Boba Fett me. One of 50. Yeah, the nice, the OBG Platinum models, like the color ones, are freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jupes. That was a joke. Jupes has never been mean ever. If he does want to take a dig at me, he'll put it in quotes. So that way it's like he's just quoting something. Yeah. He'd be like, what an idiot, in quotes. This is what one of the other members just texted me. Yeah. You don't take any teasing, Rasmus? Pedersen future is now. Well, Rasmus is in such high esteem with our group you know. speak for yourself harp i'm a jerk no we just try to make jokes sometimes it hurts people's feelings i think it's tough in chat too it's easier yeah. for you to you know you can convey a tone through your voice and harder heart yeah yeah, I can convey a condescending, uh... <laughs> gigantic ego tone that you guys can't in chat. Casey Millstead. Jake Junis. Look how easy these packs open though, god, they're great. Comtois Rainbow. Mikey apologized to you for what? Well, Mikey's very sensitive. Uh, Ricard Raquel for the Ducks. A retro E1 to 149. Mitch Marner, <laughs> Red Raider, to 79. Random Sean, your Maple Leafs. Hornquist for the Penguins. Red Prism. Still two boxes with two autographs left. I want to see a golden treasure one of one that states right there. Give me one of those things. Suomela for the Sharks autograph. Tim. Base auto. Oh, yeah. Omni's yawning already. Jules would yell at you. It's only 5 o'clock. Middle stat. It's only 5 o'clock? 
<laughs> yeah. Queenberg. I am a tiny little bit nervous that there's like gonna be a beat box that has two players in the same team. <laughs> yeah. You just kinda do that quick. I'm always I'm always nervous about that though. It's like when I was a writer and you submit something and be like Did I spell so and so's name wrong? Did I do you know? It's like no, it's in the newspaper, there's no you can't change yeah. that. Can someone type to Jibs that I'll do a hit recap at the end of the video with all the autographs and numbered parallels? If he wants to watch that. I can type that out. Okay. Darlene Rookie Rainbow. Oh. But yeah, it'll be on YouTube right minutes after it's done, it's on YouTube. Thanks, guys. It's Comtois again. Number 199 Red Prism Rookie. <clears throat> Donato. Hey, Harp. You know, I was thinking today, I was going to message you this, but I was like, nah, that doesn't really... Not really gonna work because you're a Thunder fan, but if the Thunder weren't playing the Blazers, oh, there's a nice coat Kaniemi. I kind of like, I kind of like the Blazers. I feel didn't they lose in the first round last? They had never really gotten anywhere. Didn't they crash out as a top seed last year? They were like yeah, the two like seed that. or three seed. Pretend the Thunder weren't playing the Blazers, Harp. Wouldn't you kind of want them to? Don't you like that team, kind of? Nah, it's impossible. When your team's playing another team, then you hate it. Impossible question. Ovechkin. Orange to 25. Do you ever like a team that your team's playing in the playoffs? There's no way. No. Maybe the first game or two, if it goes like four, five, six, seven games, you just hate them. Oh, they're in your division. Yeah, never mind. Then you have to hate them. Middle step future is now. Oh, yeah, Nurkic. Oh, that Ovechkin's cool. Christian Dvorak. I really like Lillard. Yeah, I like Lillard. That's the thing. Plus, it's like Portland, you know? They never... I guess they won in the 70s or whatever. Yeah, I think... Didn't they win a title with, like, Walton? Like, I still think of Portland. <laughs> Craziest game I've ever seen, I think, in any sport was that one where they beat the Lakers. They they won the game. What game was, like, game... Was it game seven of, like, the Western Conference Finals where they were... They had that game. It was over. And then the Lakers beat them. Felt bad for them ever since. Michael Rasmussen, rookie autograph for the Red Wings. Boba Fett me. Uh, Urkel got cool for a week. Yeah, like Stefan Urkel. You don't remember that? Uh, no, I watched, uh, yeah, I probably watched every episode. Where he, where he turns into the cool, like, suave guy? Yeah. I'm not laughing because I think it's fake. It's like I... I'm laughing because I just forgot that he thought it was even a thing. Alex yeah. Kerfoot. Yeah, for going along those that logic, I still do not like Demarcus Cousins, even, even though he blew out his Achilles and now his quad. I feel no, I <laughs> no no sympathy. Kyle Connor. Yeah, and I. I don't like Gordon Hayward, personally. Really? Oh, yeah, I don't know anything about him. Oh, there's a nice Pedersen Rainbow rookie. Comtois. Yeah, that's true. No one likes Cousins. But, I mean, like, even a guy you kind of didn't like having a season end two years in a row with a serious injury, you'd be like, oh, all right, I feel kind of bad for him. No. 
He's the worst. He's got to be my most disliked professional athlete of all time. It's weird to have a guy on your team that you hate that much. Ugh. Usually yeah. you can just put the blinders on. And Dvorak, there's some weird denty. See that? JG, I don't know what, what happened there. Like, you know, Braun for me. I like, wish he wasn't on the throw. <laughs> yeah, but right, I, like, he's playing. Like, I want yeah. him to do well, you know. Adam Larson. I actually him, I would be that would be great, but and I didn't not like Cousins from the beginning. Like when he got drafted, everyone was like, "Oh, he's you know, whatever." And he was really good right away, and I was like, "All right, I like this guy. Yeah, he's good." Thanasu. I guess it would be different too if like Braun was destroying the franchise and being a jerk at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baseball is different. One guy can't really do that much. Mark Messier. Who, me? Yeah, you, Mark. To 79. Darling rookie. You know, he actually does. Like, the, off the court, they say he's, like, amazing in the community. That's what they said, anyway. He's a very strange guy. Paradox. Yeah. Carlson. <laughs> Remember who who was that? We had somebody in the group who sold a pair of shoes to cousins on eBay, like when he was a oh, rookie. Really? Like a pair of sneakers? Yeah, and he like never left feedback or something and <laughs> someone in the group was like hates him because of that and was like what's, what's the one feedback? Boy, if there are people that hate you for not leaving feedback. Yeah, I know, really. That was kind of weird. Uh, Alright, here's the autographs. LaJoy. Rasmussen for the Red Wings. We had the Spencer Fu for the Flames, the Red Prism one, to 50. Brad Marchand in action. Suamela for the Sharks. Uh, Fogel for the Hurricanes. Sorelli for the Lightning, and a John Gillies marquee rookie from last year. Last year's product. Numbered stuffs. Al Cole, Comtois, middle stat red. Here's some rookie violet pixels. Coat Kaniemi. And these rainbows. <coughs> Different rainbows, Sveshnikov. Wait, is Sveshnikov like out for the rest of the ever? We had a Pedersen rookie rainbow. Pedersen futures now. Some other Pedersen rookies. This should be all cuts. Yeah, but I mean, like, that's true, Rasmus, but how hard is it to do that when you're like a multi, multi billionaire? Is there really. Nylander. I don't know how much credit we should give those people. Ovechkin, Yandel, Lucic. Erickson, Seismic Gold. Here's the uh, uh, Arctic Freeze. They're just 79. Maybe we should. I'm not saying we shouldn't. I just don't even know. Like, Do those kind of people have people that work for them? Like, hey, you should do this and we'll take care of all of yeah. it. You just show up and do this thing. And they go, okay, fine. That'll make me look good. Like, how much are they really doing, you know? Yeah. Maybe they are, I don't know. Depends on what you're weighing it against, too, you know. 